what you did today. At a time when this country is burning up with injustice, at a time when we're surrounded by federal authorities, by national authorities, by local law enforcement, you rose up. And when you are asked what you were doing, when everyone was rising up in the country in 2020, leading to one of the most important elections in the world, you will have an answer. You will tell them that you took this intersection on this day and that you rose up and that we got bigger than the height. Sarah, I have to take my braids out because I know those white supremacists don't know the difference. Hair is like a cloaking mechanism to them. They can't recognize none of us. I walked in. They had, I, I, was, I just slipped right in. Nobody even noticed. That's how. That's what. That's what this glorious melanin and this hair can do. But I'm gonna tell you something. Because some of you may have remembered, but I, I really want us to locate this conversation in something. You see, poverty is on purpose. Poverty is on purpose. And I want to rap with you a little bit about the catastrophe that is capitalism. You see, the old American gods of greed, the worshippers of that, they have become bloated by their own bigotry. And it is our job to level them with liberation. Do you hear me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Because what this virus has done, what this virus has done, because I know they say, well, you know, this virus has shown how fragile we are as people, you know. This. No. What this virus has done has acted as a revelation to the catastrophe that is capitalism. You see, the virus, the virus is in this country's undoing. All it did was expose it. It was a revelation of the catastrophe of capitalism. A system that we have been paying into for our years. And with our blood and our sweat and our tears. And I know that uh, sometimes it can be a little tricky because people, we don't really... The kinds of uh, things that people try to push back on us against when we talk about capitalism are so small and juvenile. We'll say capitalism is bad because people are working themselves to the bone and still po in, in poverty because poverty is on purpose. And they'll say, well, you still take the bus, don't you? And you still wear clothes, don't you? You're a part of this capitalist system. Yeah. Yeah, because we were born into it. But here's the thing. We are born into a system. All of us. We are born into a script, into a story. Yes? yes. But it is our job to step off script and to call out those systems for injustice. Our job is to reveal the catastrophe that is capitalism, to say, in the time of a pandemic, in a time when this system is showing us what it really believes in and who it really believes in, when they're telling us to work, when they are telling us to work, when it risks our lives so that the billionaires of this country and of this world can keep building wealth fueled by bigotry. It is our job to expose that, to be the revelation and to say, no more, no more, no more. Are you with me? You see, the virus acted as the revelation. And this is what I want to tell you and this is what I want us to know. What these families tell us every day and the pain that we carry. There is no resolution for the loss of a child and the loss of a life that has been stolen from us by the system. There is no resolution for that. There is no justice there. And I know that we have to call for it, but the true justice is life and quality of life. And so what I want us to know is for these families, there is no resolution. And for us, we have got to stop looking at the system for a resolution. Well, what we need is a revolution. Are you with me? We need a resolution. No more. What we need is a revolution, a revolution of the spirit and a revolution of the system. Are you with me? No more working 
bring ourselves to the bone. Poverty is on purpose. It is designed. Poverty is manufactured and built into that are the hierarchies of the systems so that we look at each other and we say, I'm going to get mine, even if it means you're not going to get yours. I'm going to get mine because we've been taught to believe that power, that power is standing on the necks of other people to get closest to a status quo that was never ours to begin with and that would never be ours. I'll tell you something about what I know. The only thing that we have that we truly have, bigger than this system, is each other. We are our greatest resource, and that is why, right now, every effort, every effort and every attempt is made to shut down the protests in Portland, which is why we're all here. There's nothing more dangerous to the system than when we come together. <laughs> nothing more dangerous. You want to know how I know? Because this entire society, American society, this country, is built upon keeping us apart. Segregation is not just on, it's not just some accident. It's on purpose. Because we are so dangerous when we come together. Oh, we are so dangerous. And the thing that we've got to decide with ourselves and for ourselves and